Safeguarding is at the very heart of our Christian faith. It's never an optional extra. I've said that before and I'll say it again. Jesus Christ came ultimately to save us, that is to make us safe. And that's why it's so important. Jesus came and the whole Bible talks about helping the vulnerable and supporting the weak and the vulnerable. That means that our looking after children, vulnerable adults, those who are at any risk or danger, must be an absolute, total priority for us. We, we are committed as a diocese to doing this safeguarding and to doing it well. We have a good safeguarding advisory team. Uh, we have a good uh, safeguarding board that oversees the way it's done. And we're, we're totally committed. Please join with me in that commitment. Hi, I'm Richard Ormson. I'm the Archdeacon of Northampton. So as part of my role, I have responsibility for the County of Northamptonshire, the bottom half of it, uh, and the whole of Peterborough Diocese for some parts of my role. A really good church should be at the centre of every community. I don't just mean the church building, but a welcoming, vibrant group of people, a family that's open to all comers. Uh, for those who have never been through the door of a church to those who are there seemingly every day of the week, from the old and the young, there should be a place for everybody uh, in a church family. One of the ways that can happen is to take safeguarding seriously. Um, sometimes it seems that we exclude people accidentally from our church communities, people who feel they're not part of it, or people who feel afraid to enter any new community. Uh, and yet a church should be those that reaches out into schools, uh, nursing homes, shops, pubs, cafes, and is thoroughly part of the local community in, in every aspect, no one excluded. One of the things to remember as well is that the church uh, reaches people at the start of life through baptisms, thanksgivings, through to the great celebrations of life like marriages and uh, blessings, uh, through to the end of life, uh, bereavement counselling, funerals and, and the sad times of life. And in all those different spheres of work, the church uh, again and again comes across people who we meet for a while. Uh, people who have a need for a while, people who are at a, at a crossroads for a little while. And in order for the church to meet these people confidently, uh, to have good safeguarding uh, roots and foundations is an important thing. Uh, for parents to know that children are safe uh, when they are in a church family is brilliant. For vulnerable adults to feel they have a place there too, and that uh, it's a, a safe and secure and friendly and open environment in which to work is a great thing. And so as part of my work, I visit churches all the time, up and down the diocese, up and down this end of the county. And again and again, I come across churches that are trying to be uh, visible, outward looking, welcoming, inclusive, uh, creative places for everyone to be part of. I'd like to encourage each of those churches to take safeguarding really seriously. Uh, it is important. It's important to me as Archdeacon. It's important to the clergy. It's important to church families that that's taken seriously. It, it gives the security that everybody receives a welcome. Everybody has a place. One of the great things was in Jesus' ministry that no one was turned away uh, from the very youngest to the very oldest, from those who were right on the fringes of society and no one felt that uh, they had anything to do with them, uh, to those who were important in the community. Well, everybody in Jesus' eyes had a place. He never turned anyone away. One of the things he said was, uh, I will never turn away anyone who comes to me. And that's a great principle for the whole church to work to. Uh, for Peterborough Diocese, for the counties of Northamptonshire and Rutland and the city of Peterborough, I'd like to encourage all those churches to be confident parts, central parts of their community and to take safeguarding seriously. Hello, I'm Gordon Steele. I'm Archdeacon of Oakham, an area that covers the northern half of Northamptonshire and Rutland and much of Peterborough. We in the uh, Diocese of Peterborough, of which that's part, are committed to safeguarding, to creating a safe and healthy environment in which we can all flourish and have the opportunity to experience the love of God and grow in our faith. We all have a responsibility to care for one another and it's especially important that children, young people and adults with care and support needs and indeed that everyone should be kept safe from harm within the church and within the wider community. 
I work closely with the members of our diocesan safeguarding advisory team and they should always be informed of any safeguarding concerns so that they can give appropriate advice and guidance, liaise with other agencies and ensure that any risks are well managed. Safeguarding should be the concern of us all. It is at the heart of our Christian faith and it is everybody's business. Our mantra should be see it, record it, report it so that we all build an ever safer environment. I'm Beverly Huff, the Diocesan Safeguarding Advisor. My colleague is Sharon Wellborn and I'm Parish Safeguarding Administrator. Peterborough Diocese is committed to the safeguarding care and nurture of everyone within our church community and that's why we have a Diocesan Safeguarding Advisory Team. Safeguarding in our diocese is about promoting a safer culture in all of our churches, preventing abuse from happening, protecting those who have been abused or neglected, and responding well when concerns are disclosed or seen, reporting through to us your diocesan safeguarding advisory team. Safeguarding is at the heart of our Christian faith, and everyone should make a significant and meaningful contribution to safeguard others. It's everyone's business and everybody's responsibility. Safeguarding is about keeping our children, young people, so that's anyone under the age of 18, and adults who have care and support needs safe from abuse and neglect. It's also about acting quickly when abuse is identified, listening to survivors or victims, and ensuring appropriate support and advice is available for them. It's important that we work together with each other, with our statutory partners and other organisations to make our communities and our churches safe. It's important that you always inform the diocesan safeguarding team if you receive or have safeguarding information or concerns involving a church officer. This means all who hold the bishop's licence or permission, all who hold parish positions of trust, all who work with children or young people or adults who are in need of care and support or you receive information about an ex-offender or someone who may pose a present risk to children and young people or adults in need of care and support or if you have any other safeguarding concerns. As a team we will provide advice and guidance on any safeguarding matters that come to our attention. To ensure our churches are safe churches, we recommend those in a position of trust and authority are recruited safely. Individuals within the diocese attend or complete the safeguarding training relevant to their role. You can find more information about how to make our churches safe on the Peterborough Diocese website under safeguarding or contacting me by phone on 01733 887027 or by email. All of our emails are on the diocese website. Hello, my name is Steve Benoy, I'm Director of Ordinands in Peterborough Diocese and I lead the team that works with people who are exploring if uh, some kind of ministry in the church might be for them, whether that means giving up their job and uh, becoming ordained or serving in some kind of authorised lay ministry within the life of the local church. Up and down the country, uh, not only on a Sunday but during the week, the church is involved in putting on a huge number of different groups and activities for children, young people, vulnerable adults, uh, the elderly, uh, not only with uh, particular ministers taking the lead in that, uh, but also leading uh, teams of many volunteers. The church probably has the single highest number of uh, volunteers involved in putting on uh, groups for the community. And so it's really important that uh, those involved in making these events happen really understand their responsibilities with regard to safeguarding of others, uh, not only for themselves, uh, but also for those that they're seeking to serve through these groups. And those who are running them, uh, the ministers of the church, have an especial responsibility in this regard. That's why those that we're working with, we make sure that they've understood and they've read and they agree with everything contained in this policy document, as a safer church. It contains uh, many things about how to conduct safeguarding at the uh, level of the local church safely and well. And we make sure people have really got to grips with it and uh, they understand it. As we're working with people exploring if some kind of ministry is for them, 
uh, we try to take time to get to know people really well. And often what can happen is that events long buried in their own personal stories uh, come to light. They find themselves talking about things that have happened to them in the past. And for some people, that might include times when they didn't experience good safeguarding for themselves. We take time to listen to what happened to them, the impact it's had upon them, and making sure they understand the importance of being safe for others and what that might mean for them uh, in the present day. So we work really closely with our diocesan safeguarding advisors uh, so we can know what help they might be able to access for themselves now, uh, but also so that they're aware of how they can access that help for others in the future. This means that as part of promoting a safer church, we have ministers who themselves can be safe for others and also know where to point and direct people uh, should issues arise in the groups that they're running and they know they can find the help that they need. Uh, my name is James Saunders. I'm a school chaplain and I'm also the safeguarding lead for the school where I work. Uh, for me, uh, safeguarding is part of our calling in the gospel uh, to care for those who are vulnerable uh, and to give a voice to those who are voiceless. Um, I think it is different uh, from just being nice to people. Uh, truly caring for people and giving them a voice sometimes means having brave conversations and doing things that actually we don't really want to have to do. Uh, but it is so important uh, for those who would otherwise find themselves in really difficult situations and with nobody to turn to. I'm Sarah Brown, I'm the Canon Missioner at Peterborough Cathedral and uh, have been here for about a year. When I was asked to become the Cathedral Safeguarding Officer, I must admit that I initially groaned, but it's a position that I am now very proud indeed to hold. The Cathedral is very much at the centre of Peterborough and we have people walking in through the doors all the time, pilgrims, visitors, people waiting for passports, a lot of very vulnerable, homeless, hungry people, school children in their hordes, you may be able to hear some behind me now, and the general church run of worshippers and staff and volunteers. And so we have a lot of people around and it's really important that all those people know that when they come here, they can be safe, that they're looked after, that the vulnerable are particularly cared for and heard. And so the role of safeguarding in this place is very important and we've had to put in place and continue to do so um, some very substantial processes and policies to ensure that if there is an incident it's quickly acted upon, to ensure that the uh, victims or the alleged perpetrators are supported pastorally. That would include survivors um, of previous uh, cases and that our staff and our volunteers also are informed and protected. So here, safeguarding is central to our mission. If our mission is to share the good news of Jesus with everybody, then we need to be clear that that is done in an environment that is conducive to good news, a safe and happy environment in which all are cherished and valued. Uh, I'm Pete White, I'm Director of Children and Youth for the Diocese of Peterborough and I head up the Generation 2 or Gen 2 team as we call it, uh, which stands for Generation to Generation, encouraging uh, children and young people to be involved and included in the whole life of the church and in relationships with other uh, adults and other ages. As such, safeguarding is really important because children and young people come into contact in our churches all the time with adults, some of whom are, are trained as uh, youth leaders or children's leaders and uh, others just general members of the congregation and that uh, complicates things a little bit. But uh, our main role is supporting those churches, uh, particularly volunteers and clergy and lay leaders and uh, to, to work with children and young people and as such we keep safeguarding at the heart of everything we do. They're at the front line of that direct work with children and young people and as such they need to be aware of the issues around safeguarding, they need to be uh, known that they're the ones that are looking for those signs, they're often the ones who are listening to young people most and uh, most uh, ready to hear, uh, sometimes will be aware that they might hear disclosures and so they need to know what to do in those circumstances. 
Uh, so training and supporting them is really important. At the same time, safeguarding for us is also that broader uh, context of just providing best practice, making sure that our children and young people are loved, are, uh, their confidence is built, their esteem is uh, built and that they're known and kept safe in the best possible environment for them so that they flourish in every possible way. Russell, it's really good to see you. Thank you for coming here. Uh, we, uh, as a diocese, are, are so committed to safeguarding and are very keen to be working with you on this. Okay, no, thank you very much for uh, in inviting me and um, we're really pleased that uh, we, we note your commitment to uh, the community here in Peterborough and for the residents here to, to safeguard them. Um, that's uh, not only here and now, but also in the future and all the plans that you're putting in place and we as a safeguarding board are really happy to be part of that uh, and to uh, support you in that commitment and that's really pleasing for us to see. Oh, thank you, that's brilliant. I think we're talking the same language. Which is good and because uh, we can only safeguard people together, whether that's children, young people mm. or our older vulnerable members of society and uh, we're, we're very happy to work with the diocese here at Peter. Right, and it's our absolute commitment. We, we see it as part of our core business to do safeguarding and do it well. Good. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you.